check it for the end. Alright. Oh. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Kaiser. Hi, Mrs. Hey, Kaiser. Hi. <laughs> Excellent to see you again. Michelle usually bows. <laughs> oh, by all means. We're doing a "This Is Your Life" for my mother. That's awesome. We thought you had to be included. In I don't even know so what's going on. So this is the life and times, huh? <laughs> yeah. are, you, are you shooting me? Anything for you. I just cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's enough already. <laughs> yeah. She's provided us with a lot of inspiration. I'll say Do that. that. Absolutely. Yeah, we all want to be Mrs. Kaiser when we grow up. <laughs> you know what? We're going to have that camera. <laughs> There's nobody as prolific as her when it comes to making many, many nice gifts for people. How's it feel to be prolific and what else? Inspirational. Inspirational. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You have to get some of the glass. Just take a picture right down the line. You can see all the, all the colors. And then you can buy it in the square feet or pieces, too. These are all it's kind of mostly all art glass. But these things here, it's all mirrors. They're, um, it's, it's almost everything that I see on the, that's Very $16 well. a square foot. You wouldn't believe, I can't make a window for less than $100. That, that solder is $16.95 a pound now. Yeah. It used to be about $5 a pound. Are you, you doing all this on me? Want me to recite a poem? <laughs> Forest card, that's the only one I know. That's all I know of it too. By far, our longest term customer. And the oldest. And the best. <laughs> and the saltiest tongue. Sometimes. Best stories. <laughs> He's yes, going to delete some of this, you know, I told him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing that anybody doesn't know already. I swear and stuff. Stories, you know. <laughs> oh, it's an old salt. <laughs> Hello, Mary Brown State Glass. When, I, when I'm feeling there. mighty low, I just come here. <laughs> I meant to buy some of the stuff, you know. But I guess they have a hard time knowing to get me. Oh, that's for, for uh, fusing, like your dad did that, those grapes. Oh, okay. I don't go into that. Look at this. 4120. I bought a pit when I first started cutting glass. In fact, there's some in my front window. I bought a sheet, 24 by 48, for three dollars. Mm -hmm. I should know. I don't know. It's used for everything. This one is 41 dollars. It's all very expensive stuff. Oh, that was fun. They are so nice, Grandma. They were so nice, and they really do. Like he said, she's. She's not a customer, she's our friend. Yeah, they're so good to This is with the saddest heart that I pass on the following news. Gee, please join me in remembering a great icon in the entertainment, entertainment community, the Pillsbury Doughboy. He died yesterday of a yeast infection and complications from, from repeated folks in the valley. He was 71 years old, and the Doughboy is survived by his wife, Plato, and two children, John Doe and Jane Doe. Doughboy was buried in a nice Light, lightning grease coffin, and dozens of celebrated celebra celebrities turned out to pay their respects, including Mrs. Butterworth, Hungry Jack, the California Raisins, Betty Crackers, and the hosts and Twinkies and Captain Crunch. Doughboy rose quickly in the, sh in the show business, but his later life was filled with turnovers. He was now considered a very smart cookie, wasting much of his dough half -baked, on half-baked schemes. Despite being a little flaky at times, he was still a, was a, still a crusty old man. His, his food was held at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. At 350 for 20 minutes. <laughs> Isn't that cute? What was the wedding like? Oh, it was really something. It was in our, in our yard, that house. We were in that two-family flat at the time. And um, they had the Japanese lanterns strung from the garage to the house. And Jim worked for a paper company, and then you know, like meat paper. And he um, 
got all this paper and they wallpapered the garage between the rafters made it look kind of nice. They built a bar across the back of the garage, a two-car garage, and then the big driveway, and there was dancing, and then somebody had a stereo, which was really unusual. And then they put it on the back of the house under my dad's, my mother and dad's bedroom windows. And um, there were people in the telephone poles and people on the garage, and you wouldn't believe it. And my dress was in the living room, and it was all spread out, you know, the train, you know, and my brother walked on the dress, put a hole in it, and, Jay, <laughs> we got to the church, and I forgot Jim was over up there. He didn't come out till I'm halfway down. And I started down the aisle, and I said, that's the last draw, no Jim. <laughs> but but nice, something nice really happened. I forgot to the front of the altar. When I met Jim up there, my dad started crying. I didn't know he could cry. I didn't know he even loved me. He never told me. <laughs> And I'll never forget that. He had to take out his head, wave you go, hang a gym, he's crying. <laughs> and I thought that made everything fine. <laughs> it's time when you cut all the way around. So you can pull things and you can go zigzag. And that's how I made all those butterflies. I don't have any butterfly. I made 115 butterflies and I don't have one. Hmm. Oh well. Oh, I have a butterfly. I was wondering. See, this one doesn't need to get so much of that because it's just this little bit here you can do it in the saw. You can't cut dirty glass very well. This has been sitting there a long time. And it always has to be wet. The nice part about this, I never have to worry about the carpeting. <laughs> well, I don't need this, really. But I dip in here to make sure it's wet and let it all run down where I'm going to cut. Oh, yeah, I'm going to draw something on here. And then straight up and down, you can hold your cutter the better chance you have. You have to get it all, then you take it to the grinder. You have to make sure you have a square up there. You can't use your regular T. So I've got all these tools, and I feel like I have to use them. You can use a black background, otherwise you'll have copper showing through. And if, you're, if, it, if the glass is not clear, then you can use um, the copper. Like if you can't see through the glass, you might as well use the copper. But you just go like this, and the, Bring the solder down, and that's how they all hold together. Well, you know, when I, st I studied watercolor and I studied um, oils, painting, and um, I did some work, but I never did care about it. And the artist said, if you really were interested, you would do it every day. Well, I gave Chris all my stuff because I didn't gonna do it. And when it came to dressmaking, I did dressmaking every single, I saw it every single day. And I saw it on some pretty nice gowns, you know. In fact, I have a dress that's in the museum in Ohio. I made for Mrs. Ford. But um, this I do every day. So that must be my medium. Got it? <laughs>